first of all, would like to really extend the invitation to everybody interested in uh, what we need to do in order to solve the climate problem to really secure the future of the world. Today, our main topic is, of course, the coronavirus, but I hope the coronavirus will be history in a year from now. But what will remain for us is a big problem of climate change. And I think the topic of the uh, Clean Tech Business Club is really to address what has to be done to solve this very important world problem. And in our first World Clean Tech Week and e-convention, we will really address all the major topics which need to be discussed. These are the topics related to how are the different markets, what are the technologies we need, what are the visions which we have behind it, what do we do to get the financing done, and what do we do to get the education, the mentoring done. And at the end of this week, we will have an opportunity to talk about really what's going on in the different nations and the different areas. And I think everybody who will be involved during this week will get an enormous background of topics, of information, will have an opportunity to ask questions. And of course, a lot of this content will be available even afterwards so that people can go back and use it as a very valuable resource. My perspective is that economics of renewable energy are so good that it is unavoidable that we will win. This is no doubt. You know, if you have electricity from the sun for one cent per kilowatt hour, nothing else will count. But my big fear, and this is still active fear, is that if we just rely on the economic forces, we will be too late. We will sit in the year 2050, we will have converted the world to clean technologies, but we will have come too late. We have 500 ppm CO2 in the atmosphere. We are facing two to three degrees warming uh, of the earth, increasing water levels, uh, storms of unknown strengths. And we will say ourselves, how stupid have we been in 2020? Why didn't we in 2020? coming out of this corona crisis say this crisis has been tackled worldwide in a very forceful way let's tackle the upcoming climate crisis in the same forceful way so we don't have to wait to find the magic bullet we do have the magic bullet we just have to use it so therefore my optimism but based on a, a really really sincere uh, realism that we are not yet sure that it will work, but we have to do everything we can. And everybody at this place, wherever it is, in South America, in Asia, in Europe, everybody in the United States has to do whatever he or she can in order to prevent this dire future for our children, for our grandchildren, for future generations. And if we can say in 2050, oof, we have succeeded, we have done it, then we can party and of course we should party on the way as well because uh, coming together in celebration is really what moves a lot of us uh, ahead together we are the strongest and together we simply cannot be stopped and i think this has uh, the experience of coronavirus crisis told us if we are together there's no way we can be stopped I really would like to invite you to be part of this first of its kind event. I, will, I think it will be notably, and maybe later you will come back and say, oh, look, in this session I asked this question and this will be there forever. So please join us. I think it will be remarkable. And all we want to do is make an impact towards moving the world closer to a solution of this very, very bad looming climate problem. See you in the week of April 20 to 24th online.